What's up guys? Welcome back to another penny stock video or Sergio. This stock is super interesting. I got some big stores to tell you guys about Sergio Therapeutics. These guys do have several products that already went through the FDA process, but what's really interesting is their recent stock offerings. We all know that what happens is share prices go up and a lot of these companies, they offer a ton of stock they make them and then they sell it to retail and institutional holdings and people. And guess what? Massive stock dilution. But the good news is the company then has a lot of cash, which they could use as cash to do other things that improves the company that sends the stock going up. But then again, though, it's kind of fuzzy. There's always a lot of debate on whether or not companies should be allowed to do a ton of stock offerings because that's exactly what Assertio Therapeutics did. If you check out the overall graph, these guys did hit a high price of $1.45, but because they did two stock offerings in a single week, yeah, you heard that right. It wasn't one, it was two, and that really surprised me. And share prices plummeted down to $1.12. Right now it's hovering at $1.14, but it's kind of surprising that even with this massive stock dilution, share prices are still very, very stable. So far, Assertio announced the closing of 34.3 million direct offering on Friday after market hours. That's where institutions actually purchased 35 shares at 98 cents, which is a pretty good deal, especially how even right now, the share price is $1.14. And by the way, they also closed a 14 million offering on February 9th of this year, which means that in this past week, there's two stock offerings, that total roughly 57 million shares. And that is a lot of money right here. They have roughly $50 million in their bank accounts. And the biggest rumor right now is what will they be doing with this money? Because recently volume has been skyrocketing. If you check out the sticks on the very bottom, before our search show therapeutics only had what, like half a million volume a day? That's pretty lousy for a penny stock. Then recently, around late December of 2020, people started noticing about Assertio Therapeutics and the volume hit around 5 million to roughly 26 million. And recently, the volume is at roughly 40 to 80 million in a single day, which is very different from half a million volume all the way back in late or mid 2020. And that seems pretty good. If you check out Assertio, this is a lot of money that they're raising. And people are saying something is definitely up about a social stock because options traders are buying the overall option call contracts. If you check out the implied volatility for some of these call contracts, it's honestly pretty insane. This is a penny stock that barely got any attention, but their open interest is extremely high, which is really odd. The open interest is the amount of contracts being held in people's accounts. And the volume is the amount of buy, sell, buy, sell that happens in a single day. There's about 6,000 open interest for this call contract alone. And the March 19th calls are having some really crazy and weird activity and the implied volatility is super high. Remember, the higher the implied volatility means more people are buying the option and the more inflated the option price is. A healthy implied volatility is anything below 80%. 80% means that the option isn't really inflated. If you check out SPY options and also Apple options, they're like 20, 30, 50%. They're a lot more stable than this. So Assertio, I'm not sure what's going on, but the implied volatility looks absolutely wild. A ton of people are going in like, look at the open interest in this, 11,000. A ton of buyers are going in pretty hard. Obviously no one's gonna buy the February 19th one, but for June 18th, there's also a lot of open interest in the overall options chain. Implied volatility is super high even when the options are out several months. So 284% is extremely high. In fact, Assertio is one of the highest implied volatility options on the New York Stock Exchange. It's pretty insane. Assertio will also be receiving another $5 million in insurance settlement around February 17th, 2021. And they also have until June 28th, 2021 to maintain this $1 bid price requirement to be listed on the NASDAQ. Because if you don't, you get delisted and guess where you go? The pink sheets in the OTC market, which really isn't that good. Guess what? Friday was the fifth consecutive day that Assertio closed above $1. Phenomenal news. And this is even with all of this crazy stock dilution. Now let's get to the juicy parts and what is going on 
with Asertio. Because they raised about $50 million, everyone is scratching their heads while they do this, while they do a double stock dilution to raise money in a single week if they're not going to be doing anything big. I think Asertio, even when the share prices aren't really climbing up that high, they still want to do a stock dilution because they can use this money to do more things. In fact, one of the biggest intentions around their company is to acquire other smaller companies. They want to target around one to two products or acquisitions over the next 12 months. That's one of their biggest management things and one of the things on their bucket list. Guess when was this presentation? This presentation was six months ago. So they only have five to six months left to really have this thing done. I think Assertio could be raising a lot of capital just to acquire more companies. I personally think that's extremely smart because if you're a penny stock company and you have a lot of cash, might as well acquire other smaller companies and get yourself even bigger. It's a really smart thing to do. And so far, the CEO, he increased his position by 10% last week from 203,000 shares on February 9th to 224,000 shares on February 12th. That's big. You don't really see CEOs do this if the company is failing. I think something is definitely up with Asertio. There's a lot of really odd things going on. Of all the other penny stocks that we talked about, Asertio is the one that has a lot of stories, a lot of rumors, and a lot of small things going on. Things are hidden in the dark and not a lot of people know. If you piece together some of the puzzles, one of them is multiple stock offerings, not just this $34 million one, and you have this $50 million cash on their hands. And then if you check out, everyone is saying that the options are going pretty nuts for Asertio. Check out the implied volatility for March 19th. This is what the majority of individuals are buying. Open interest, volume, and trading are at a really odd number. No one really knows why, but there seems to be a lot of interest in the options. Implied volatility is extremely high, which is very rare to see a Sergio becoming like a top 10 highest implied volatility stock on the NASDAQ. That's pretty weird. And with $50 million in cash, one of the biggest things going on is to acquire other companies. And this is six months after the presentation, so they have another six months to fulfill their bucket list terms. And you also got the CEO of the company increasing shares of the stock. You also have some marketed products. Even if a search show doesn't really do much with the cash or maybe if all this is just too hyped up, keep in mind that they already have working products. They currently have eight FDA approved products for various different conditions. So these guys are already making money. If you check out the revenues, the revenues have been increasing, for example, like 21%. It's looking pretty good. Their revenue profits, it's increasing. And the reported net product sales of $34.3 million isn't really that bad, considering they do have eight FDA approved products and it's looking pretty good. And so far, because the share prices are hovering at above a dollar, we could be seeing a massive explosion in the price because a lot of times when shares and also a lot of these penny stocks actually meet the requirements and get to stay in the NASDAQ, share prices explode up. It's a pretty common thing I've been seeing. This is something that to definitely keep you guys in mind. ASRT is a pretty crazy stock. And keep in mind that I do not own any shares of ASRT. And this video is for entertainment purposes only. If you guys haven't checked out the free Discord server, please do so. 28,000 members counting. Link in the description below. There's also a Patreon link below for exclusive chat room perks. Thanks for watching and definitely check out the stock.